Okay, our next event is egg lofting altitude. Now this is an altitude event, so the person whose rocket goes the highest wins. And you're allowed two flights, but it's only the highest flight that counts. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure that, the altitude for you. We're going to have tracking scopes out there, and we're going to you know, figure out how high your rocket goes. So all you have to do is fly your rocket and get it back, because you have to get these back. If you fly two times, they both got to come back, because the judging on this event is we're going to check your egg. If you crack your egg, that flight is disqualified. It's like an astronaut. When you launch your astronaut, you want to get them back. You don't want to crack them. So this is kind of a very competitive design. Again, you can make this. This is not hard, but these are all custom parts here. Uh, the nose cone is a, a very lightweight nose cone. Because it's altitude, you want to go high. So weight is critical. Keep your weight down. Um, we're going to put our egg in there, tape it all together. Uh, this, this egg capsule comes from Apogee Components. The body tube, um, I just rolled a transition, and rolling transition is pretty, you know, it's like a skill level three task. Anybody can do it. Uh, the instructions for doing this, if you go to the Apogee Components website, um, we have advanced construction videos. There's videos in there that show you how to make a transition section. It's, it's pretty straightforward. All the formulas are there on how to do it, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So just come to the website and you'll see it. Uh, again, you want to make your fins big. And this is going to be C engine, so the bottom, the engine size down here is an 18 millimeter for a C engine. Um, now, to keep the drag down, you'll see that there's no launch lug on here. Um, I want to keep that, that, that launch lug off, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use a pop lug or some kind of system where, or, a, or a launch tower. So if you have a launch tower, it's, it's an advantage. Uh, but if you don't, um, there's going to be launch rails there. And I've done a report on flyaway rail guides, and I use these myself. You know, if you want to compete against me, you're going to have to use flyaway rail guides. And they're easy to make. It only costs you like about 30 cents to make them, maybe about maybe half an hour worth of time to make them. Come to the Apogee website. You'll find it there. Um, it's in our newsletter section. For, they're called flyaway launch rails, flyaway rail guides. OK, so any questions on egg lofting, how to win? Keep it light. Now you don't, you only want to size your parachute just to make sure your egg gets back. So typically I'll use uh, an 18 inch diameter parachute. That's good enough for most eggs. You know, since this rocket is lightweight, 18 inches is fine. If your rocket's heavier than this, you might want to go with a 24 inch. Uh, another tip is on the canopy of the parachute, cut a small spill hole in the middle. And what that does is it prevents the parachute from rocking because if your parachute's rocking as it's coming down, you're going to crack your egg like that. <laughs> uh, that little spill hole is the tip. I'm giving you all the advanced tips here.